Hello students, so today we are going to learn about principle of conservation of energy. Okay, 7.3, conservation of energy. So they put here a roller coaster. Mm, and I think this, they, they, they choose the very good picture. Why they want to put a roller coaster? Because from this the roller coaster, we can see the conservation of energy. Because at first, you need for the roller coaster to happen, you increase the gravitational potential energy. You increase, increase, so the, the roller coaster go up. Ma. Go up, go up, go up. Then, go until here, become zero. Zero speed must stop already. But zero speed doesn't mean zero energy, you know. Because you already go up. Go up, go up, go up, go up. So, you know the formula MGH as you go up very high the more energy you go up then when you go up you almost stop at there zero kinetic energy but a lot of energy really go up now we are changing the kinetic energy uh, the gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy then when it come down you will zoom very fast come down right? zoom, very fast come down because you got very high from potential energy you change to kinetic energy then then when you come up and go up again you will slow again then you go down you will fast again so from potential energy you again you change to kinetic energy so we can change from potential energy to kinetic energy and one of the very good example is the roller coaster if you more if you want more fast you go up high lah you increase the the potential energy like you can see the formula see remember or not grab gpe equals to i got no place to write eh. right here lah gravitational potential energy equals to mgh okay so gpe i change to kinetic energy so mgh equivalent to half mv power of 2 so the higher i go the more speed i get so by knowing this formula if people ask you how you want to make the roller coaster go faster very easy according to this formula we just make it higher the higher it is the more speed that we can produce that's why we see the i don't know like maybe disneyland or what we know that very 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 high roller coaster you want to make it faster you go up higher then it, it will be more fun and then then what i don't know lah people will die or not sitting at here um so principle of conservation energy what does it mean by principle of conservation energy it means that energy can be created or destroyed or it only can convert from one form to another form you cannot destroy the energy even you bring this thing go up you don't destroy it even though it stop the roller coaster go there and stop the energy is still there you haven't used on it because when you go down it will convert to kinetic energy so you cannot destroy the energy like um, let's say i got a battery inside my phone there is a battery how i want to destroy the finish the battery i cannot destroy the power in the battery unless i use it to watch movie then because from the electric energy change to light energy then the battery finish so from the battery energy i change to light energy and i cannot say a uh, battery energy just go away it, it cannot be like that it will be always there either you convert it to other thing like the energy light energy then you might say well then light energy go to where light energy maybe go to the heat Go to the heat go to the air and then the air will go to go to whatever place that is the air then you say go to air disappear law no it, it when the energy go to air the energy does not disappear the the the, the particle just vibrate in the the air the particle vibrate and it just so little that you don't feel it but it is still there but it's very 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 little so you you don't feel it so energy cannot be destroyed energy cannot be create or and energy only can form from one form to another form so this is the principle 
principle of conservation energy okay you need one you need to remember uh, cannot create cannot destroy cannot only can convert you also cannot form the electric energy i cannot say the phone okay electric energy come up i cannot i need to charge so where you need to charge you need to take from the socket the power and where the power take energy from the c and then see where does the power come from maybe from the gravity from the tide okay from the water and the evaporation of water so this how the energy form from one energy to another energy okay so useful energy so what do you mean by useful energy useful energy is the energy that be formed easily converted into one form to do work for example chemical energy stored in a fossil fuel is a useful energy because the chemical energy can be easily converted to heat energy and light energy through the combustion of fossil fuel fuel okay so this is called the useful energy okay means it is useful lah, huh? but sometimes i read book uh, they say useful energy is uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so I still remember useful energy is the how much you convert it and it still can be used. So different book got different definition. Uh, sometimes I read also I like, confused. Okay, oscillation system. Oscill oscillation system is the simple pendulum, for example, just as an example, simple pendulum oscillator of loaded spring. To give gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. So, for example, Bob release this thing. So this thing go left and right. So, for I can say that kinetic energy here will be the highest. Hey, what am I doing? Kinetic energy here will be the highest. Potential energy here will be the highest. Go well, gravitational potential energy here will be the highest. Make sense or not? Because I carry the thing go up, I use mgh ma the formula mgh, and this is the h is the highest. The gravity cannot change, the M cannot think. So I bring it to the highest, for example, here is 0 0.1 meter. So that's the highest speed of the pendulum that got the highest energy. When I let go, it will go fast, very fast, zoom. And if the question asks, where is the highest speed will be in the middle? Because kinetic energy to half mv power of 2. And why is the most fastest? Most fast, and then it will go to here. And if you want to calculate, is you want to calculate is, uh, kinetic energy mv power of two. So you get m. Let's say like this one is uh ten gram zero point zero one kg. The speed is zero. Eventually, it will stop. You go up, my it will stop. So when you go stop, it will got the zero speed you zero speed whatever times zero you get back zero so eventually you got zero energy for kinetic energy but it got the highest potential energy you get what i mean or not i'm not sure i can uh, make you understand or not so so it will be like this i hope you can understand so here will be the highest potential energy because it go up but zero kinetic energy because the speed is zero but it got the highest potential energy because it's the most high let's say 0 0.1 meter then you go again from here you almost get zero potential energy zero gravitational potential energy because uh, G mgh mgh your h is zero zero h that you are lifting up the pendulum but you got the highest kinetic energy 
and move on. Then it will repeat. Okay, so I hope you understand this. This question always they ask in um, exam, uh, so you need to know here is high for kinetic energy. Here is the high kinetic energy. Then you need to ask you ask yourself why. If the question asks la, I doubt the question will ask. But if the question asks, then you need to maybe answer in terms of uh, formula, because uh, at here the v is zero. Of course, you got zero. Let's say la, the question asks why zero, because eventually the, the the ball will stop at zero and your your speed is zero. So whatever time zero is zero. So your kinetic energy is zero, and you got the highest potential energy because that is the highest point, the peak point. And the question asks why uh, kinetic energy is the highest. So you say lah because um, this is the fastest speed. If you want to calculate the, the speed times the mass, well, you got the highest kinetic energy. And the question asks if why zero potential energy because uh, there is no zero height that you are lifting up the pendulum. So whatever time zero, you get back zero. So that's zero gravity potential energy that is in that. It's zero potential energy but it got very high kinetic energy because it's moving very fast okay this one i don't need to explain blah 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 okay um same thing at here the thing go up and down um of course here here i know that here will be zero zero um, energy la, huh? zero energy in terms of uh, whether elastic potential energy zero elastic potential energy because you you are not doing anything and uh, if I put here up or down at least I got um, elastic potential energy so this thing will go up and down up and down up and down but uh, again the same thing even though it got zero elastic potential energy it got the highest kinetic energy means it is the fastest you are still moving it there's a speed so for up and down uh, it's the same thing so i just draw one place okay up and down is the same thing it got zero kinetic energy not moving ma. whatever at half mv power of two you times zero with the speed you get back zero and um, elastic potential energy is the highest because it is half fx and uh, the the f is the force and x is the x is the uh, the displacement in meter so x is the highest at here because for example here to here is 0 0.1 meter so it is the highest peak already so it got the highest elastic potential energy okay i hope you understand this one zero and highest elastic elastic potential at point up and down this one is zero elastic potential energy but it got the highest kinetic energy because it's moving the highest so the the whole process is the the energy will change from elastic potential energy change to kinetic energy then it go down again change to electric potential energy then it go again go up again become kinetic energy then it go again elastic potential energy and we'll go and go and go 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 until it is finish um finish means doesn't mean loss of energy uh, again finish means the energy goes somewhere else because uh, i don't know next chapter we're going to that's called energy loss uh some energy loss because of the wind the gravity that you are what so the energy just go other place okay doesn't mean the energy is lost according to the principle not according to me lah i i just follow back the principle the principle is called principle of conservation of energy there's someone that say this principle lah so but i i forgot the name already there's a like i think maybe like one scientist that say that it's like this okay so i just uh, follow lah follow him follow the book okay transformation of kinetic energy to potential energy so this one just now i already teach no ha ah pe maximum ke zero pe minimum potential energy zero 
kinetic is highest okay again i don't want to tell my name time lah why you, you write out the formula okay you come 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 you will get zero potential energy you will got the highest kinetic energy okay you 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 uh, you can do experiment you can use video to count then then you really get your okay so this is the graph if you want to do the experiment and calculate the energy we can see that when the kinetic energy increase the potential energy decrease when the potential energy increase the kinetic energy decrease escape they ask in exam but um, you understand or not this uh, this 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 graph you you, you understand uh? I, I I hope that you understand okay so um, I don't know whether you understand this graph or not but it is like this lah huh? let's say I want to draw another graph if the kinetic energy increase then the potential energy decrease something like that so you um, because if I want to draw the the graph um, let's say here my PE maximum ma. so if the PE increase PE increase the KE is zero Ke is, is zero, and when the Ke is the maximum, kinetic energy is the maximum. Here, kinetic energy is maximum, potential energy is lowest. So the graph is something like this, but if I want to make it a, uh, make it bigger, it will be something like this, and then this. It's actually the same lah, like this, like this lah is like you get what I mean not? but when you draw it to become round it will be like this lah huh? so that they just make the graph better by making it become round like uh, 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 something like that lah huh? then it will be like uh, 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 something like that okay um, the reason I, you, you many I draw many because it will move many time uh, okay go up down up down up down up down so your energy will be uh, potential energy up potential energy down potential energy up potential energy down kinetic energy up kinetic energy down kinetic energy up kinetic, so it will be but this is just one loop okay so yep i hope you can understand this i hope i help a little bit based on principle of conservation of energy energy can transform from one form to another when they transform a small potential energy is converted to useful energy yes it is converted to useful energy a large portion of energy involved in waste energy and uh, waste energy a closed system in a system which has no external force generation heat energy is not produced is a hence heat energy is produced is a closed system So eventually, there is the energy loss. Depend on um, energy, just loss lah. You don't just convert hundred percent, okay? You if you loss. If if the energy not lost ah, when I do like that, it will be forever one thousand years. I come back, it will still like that, because there is no loss of energy. The pendulum. But there is loss of energy because, for example, there is friction. There is friction. Friction with what? Law? Like that only also got friction. Ah. God got friction. Something is blocking it. The air is blocking it. So the air is blocking it. So it will be slowing down slow down then stop because there is the waste of energy that is hitting the air friction with the air same like car i think we also learned this from one from two right that's the the the, the bad thing about friction like 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 a car you you use a lot of petrol for example i use the for example car like i say proton uh, 
last time proton saga la, are the more fair comparison let's say old car la, old car like proton saga i say the old car and then you 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 change you compare with uh compare with honda city for example or vios so we know that when you go to penang Kuala Lumpur to penang you can feel that the the honda city car petrol is 40 ringgit and then the the proton saga car is 50 ringgit for the petrol and you think hey i not go to penang man why the petrol proton saga old car this one more expensive one because this proton car i'm not saying bad about proton uh, but i just say the old car the old car uh it got a lot of waste energy maybe friction the engine not good you produce heat then there's a lot of friction honda city is a new car for example better technology less waste energy so you your petrol can be um, lesser when you travel so depend uh, some people buy car see the car beautiful or not i buy car if i see the car can uh, um, don't use too much petrol or not and just save petrol uh, because petrol is very expensive so there's some energy loss okay very fast uh, we look at this um, ball okay uh, all the due to the principle of conversion of energy we can use the formula like um, mgh equals to ke for example and we can use like mgh equals to um, the spring energy half mv power of, uh, uh, mgh equals to spring power elastic potential energy or we can use elastic potential energy equals to kinetic energy yeah, i mean um, how to say uh, this formula it can be a lot you know it can be a lot it can be like anything because you because principle of conservation of energy so it will be i can make it to like what formula is equal to what formula okay i can do whatever formula i want that we learned just now or previous video because you say no energy loss my the principle of conservation say no energy loss no energy loss means this one equals to this one this one equals to this one this one equals to this one. because we are assuming there is no energy loss so let's look at the question if 5 newton is used to compare the spring and the maximum speed calculate the maximum speed of 50 gram so now i can do the formula half fx power of 2 equals to half mv power of 2 you can um, assuming there is no loss of energy so half fx equals to half 5 newton over um, x is the distance 0 15 mm equivalent to 5 cm equals to 0 0.05 meter okay so you convert it lah of course you 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 do in your brain is faster lah if you don't want to use in your brain then you you divide lah you convert by yourself lah, okay Mi millimeter change to cm 5 cm 5 cm change to meter is divided by 100 I, I recommend student to use the huh, use the brain to calculate lah. if not you if this one you don't know usually student will start to get wrong from here because they don't know how to convert cm to meter or they forget i forget then usually they convert wrong one lah. so so it's a common thing in order not to do this mistake it is better to uh practice practice the formula and uh, i think lah in order not to do wrong i uh, use the brain is easier rather than do divide 1000 divide 1000 sometimes make me even more confused uh. so um, divided by half mv over 2 okay mv the m is gram so 50 gram is 0 0.05 kg that's uh, i think it's faster uh, if you just use your brain to to, to calculate okay rather than use the conversion method huh? divided 1000 make people confused uh. divide 1000 times v sometimes i something that i don't know but um this is not math class uh, so the answer you do 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 you get five huh 
um, this is not math class lah, so I don't want to go too deep. But let us let, go a little bit, okay? Okay, let's say ah, uh, uh, this thing. Okay, first thing when the question asks, you need to know what is given in the question. Okay, so what is given in the question is first thing ah, uh, you identify. He give me Newton. He give me the length of the spring. He give me the spring fifty mm. Calculate the maximum speed and he, he, he asked me to calculate the speed He gave me the mass So you agak aga you need to know what formula we are going to use So the formula that we are going to use because you want the speed So it's half mv power of 2 And this is a spring So I know it's half f x Okay So I want to do faster I cut the half I cut the half same uh, a and a algebra you cut the half uh, so f x equals to m v power of 2 um, f is 5 newton x is uh, 50 mm 5 cm 5 cm change to meter 0 0.05 uh, correct or not Okay, so the compress the spring, so it's 300 minus 50. So 300 minus 50, you got 250mm equals to 25cm. Change to meter is uh, 0 0.25 meter. Okay, so it will be 0 0.25 meter for the thing. You, you minus lah, huh? because the, the compression, I thought 50 the compression, but no. Um, 50 is after it's being compressed so 300 minus 50 is the difference equals to mv power of 2 m is uh, 50 gram equals to 0 0.05 kg equals to v power of 2 okay so v power of 2 equals to okay so after that um i i i, I do more simple a bit uh, because i scared some student don't understand so i just uh i just make it um, longer a bit okay so um this one i bring to here so 5 times 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.05 i get v power of 2 so you do 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 you will get 25 equals to v power of 2 the 2 you bring over v equals to uh, this one uh, square root of 25 not uh, puncture 25 you get 5 5 um, si unit ms negative 1 okay so you got the answer using this formula um, can understand um, the first thing that you need to know is this one this is the first thing that you need to know half fx equals to half how i know to use this we got the question you need to read the question and you need to aga aga do then you get this formula after the formula you do 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 you get the answer which is actually five so that's the first so you get five so the first step is the to get the formula okay you need to read the question not easy and uh, this question not easy so okay so thank you students so i see you again and bye bye